Morning, good afternoon, good evening, fabulous. This is Angela, and the channel is Be Fabulous You. I am out and about. Um, I'm waiting for a show to start, but I just wanted to do a quick um, recap review um, for you of a book that I read. You may or may not know that I'm in a book club, and usually every month, give or take a couple weeks, we do a book. So we did Handmaid's Tale maybe a month or two months ago, and here recently we did a book called woman on the edge of time and it's by a woman called march piercy it was published in the 70s and um we came to it because um we enjoyed handmaid's tale and someone recommended it as kind of a companion piece or you know a conversation piece um in relation to and co to compare and contrast with um, Handmaid's Tale. So um, I'm really, really glad that I read it. It made me realize that I have read quite a bit of dystopian fiction, but I don't know that I've read any utopian fiction. This is the first piece of utopian fiction that I've read, and I think that that's kind of one of the, the biggest things that I enjoyed about it. Um, maybe once I've read more utopian fiction, I won't have enjoyed it as much, but I doubt it. It was very well written. Um, it tells the story of a woman who may or may not be suffering from um, official mental health issues and may or may not be being put forward in time. <laughs> um, so by me being um, someone who I love a positive vision of something and so I really love the idea that the author um, presented a very, what I found to be a, a pretty coherent um, vision of a future or pieces of um, various futures that were really interesting um, and gave you kind of something to think about. And I love the idea of projecting into the world what you would like to create or imagining and exploring those things that you would like to see more of. So I don't know why I haven't read more Utopias because I've read I don't know of quite a few, but I've read probably more than my share of dystopian novels. And I may, um, you know, I, I probably need to switch that up because I want a positive vision of the future. I really like that the main character was a woman and a woman of color because very often when we're dealing with books that deal with the future, there aren't very many women and or there aren't very many people of color. So it's really nice to have a main character um, time traveler who is a woman of color and there are people of color in the world that she travels into um, as well. Um, so whether she's traveling into um, a world in her imagination or whether she's traveling into a world in real life, which I think is going on, um, that's just really exciting. When the first, when the book first started, I didn't realize that it was going to be a time travel book. I actually thought that it was gonna be um, a book dealing with mental health issues. Um, and so. Um, a woman gets put into a, a mental health facility at the very beginning of the book. Um, so I was kind of like not um, all that excited about that because it seemed kind of depressing just the whole circumstance. But um, some of the themes that are, um, that kind of get, and then the other thing is that I'm going to read to you kind of a list of some of the themes that just come to mind for me a week or two weeks out from having read it and discussed it at book club. Um, but I think that it was really interesting the way in which all of these different themes were woven together. And, you know, in our real lives, all kinds of themes are woven together. I'm not just, you know, a brown person or I'm not just a woman. I'm not just a college graduate. I'm not just someone who lives in Detroit. I'm all of those things. I'm not just someone who's been fortunate enough to travel the world. I'm not just someone who's in sales. I'm not just um, someone who likes to watch TV. I'm all of those things. So all of those things kind of meet in, in the world that is is Angela um, and so it's always exciting to me when a book or when you know a work of art kind of effectively deals with the fact that so many they're like you know it's not just I know a lot of times with art we do focus on one theme or one or two issues but it's always exciting to me when a work of art um, kind of effectively intermingles and has that intersectionality that's what they call it these days intersectional it's a very intersectional work of um, literature um, so mental health particularly having to do with women and people of color um, and you know kind of who's considered mentally ill and why and what um, yeah so the whole issue of the mental health 
system and the institutionalization of people is there. Um, medical experimentation is there. Um, I did not read, um, but I did hear the person um, speak who wrote a book called Medical Apartheid. Um, so that has me really thinking a lot more about um, medical experimentation and its prevalence. Um, so this that thing kind of comes up in here. We talked about the utopia. This book actually has not only a utopia, but a dystopia. Um, so, you know, that's kind of interesting to me. It, I, I liked it. Um, the, this um, conversation about sex work, um, also women as objects, and then body work, like, you know, um, aug body augmentation, um, which, you know, like especially for those of us who like to watch television and, you know, some of the women, you know, that we may watch on some of the reality shows are, have a lot of, um, have, have had some augmentation. They've changed some things around. Um, even if you watch Power and you look at someone like um, the Lakeisha character, you know, I saw, I don't know if it's true or not, but I saw a before, or after, before and after picture of her. And she was an attractive woman before, but I mean, when you look at the proportion of her waist to her hips now, it's like, oh my gosh, it's very, the work is very beautifully done. And I guess I didn't even realize that the work had been done, but when you see the before and after, it's like, wow. But anyway, just body augmentation and body work. Um, this idea of sexuality to, um, this idea of sexuality and, um, you know, L, B, G, T, Q, R, S, T, U, V. Um, I think that they do an interesting job of exploring that and also gender, you know, kind of in collaboration with that or, you know, I guess just in collaboration with people um, and parenting as well. So those were some of the um, issues that kind of came to mind as I um, reflected on the book and what I enjoyed about it so much. Um, so I'm, I'm encouraging you to read it and please comment below if you have read it. Um, if you read it at my recommendation or at someone else's recommendation, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it, what you loved about it, what you hated about it, <laughs> what you thought was very well done, what kind of challenged you. I really enjoyed that the main character, one of my, this guy used to date me, like don't get jazzy with me. Well, I, I really enjoyed that the main character had sort of a sort of jazziness to her that I thought, you know, I really enjoyed because I felt like what she was dealing with, there were a lot of issues of stress and de-stress and like she, distress, like not de-stress, but distress, like, and you know, a lot of times when we're under stress, um, you know, we may not be our best selves. So there was kind of like a little attitude um, going on there at times and a little bit of, you know, her worldview and her experience of the world being challenged and kind of how she handled it, you know, I thought was very realistic and I enjoyed um, that. Um, so yeah, read it, read it, read it. Tell me what you think about it. I think it probably took me about eight hours to read it. I'm a relatively quick reader, um, I think. Um, so it's probably, you know, something that could be knocked out in, you know, a weekend or a week or two, you know, of casual reading. But read it, read it, read it, and tell me what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, hit the like button. That's the same as thumbsing up. Comment down below. Subscribe. Hit the notifications bell. Enjoy today because it's the best day ever. And remember, Fabulites, to be you, be fabulous, be fabulous you. Peace.